Thank you all. We are truly honored and blessed by the sounds of all of your music. <laughs> Would you pray with me, please? Oh God, on this holy night, open our hearts. May what we hear and see and feel and sing and pray be totally of you. Help us see and find your joy this night and always. Amen. It's hard to know where to go after that. I've been listening to them practice on and off and on and off and on and off and quite a bit this afternoon, and I don't know about you. But this is what I do know about God. God's in this with us for the long haul, okay? This babe was born, this baby Jesus, to Mary and Joseph, 2,000 years ago, give or take. A baby. Think about how vulnerable an infant child is. And that's where God begins. And then, as we recognize the joy and as we recognize the grace and the mystery and the kindness and the unexplainable love, this is what we get. You see, we don't always stay like that infant child in our life of faith, in our relationships with those we love. It's always a journey. And it's a journey toward this joy. It's a journey toward a life that is meant to be celebrated. And it's as our liturgy has shared, both with the, the Advent candle lighting and prayers saying we'll have a confession in a, in a few moments, life is not always on this big high, and we know it. Each one of you knows it. There's suffering, and there's pain, and there's grief, and there's sorrow, and there's tragedy. And it exists all around us and in us all the time. But this, God began with a baby. What is God doing with you? That's what Christmas is about. It's lovely to come here. But what meaning does it make in your life except for that journey toward fullness, the journey toward celebrating joy with all the embodiment that is within you? If you read again the text from this night from the second chapter of the Gospel of Luke, it is a story filled with movement. Nobody's standing still. Everybody's moving from place to place, getting ready for what's next, praising God, helping Mary with the baby. There's movement throughout. Nobody's standing still like this, kind of pretending to be holy. Not even the angels. No. It's about movement. And so this movement, this Christmas Eve, how will you allow God to move? in you. And when you do, how will you celebrate joy with the very fiber of everything that you are that is filled with and embodied full with the love and joy that we celebrate this night? It is my prayer that each of you will find this source because God began a thing in you a long, long time ago. Whether you were born this year or 90 plus years ago. And where you are now is where you are now. Oh, people, be blessed by it and celebrate that joy with all of who you are. Amen. Oh,